Now, WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618 and we are looking at dry conditions for most of the week ahead. I think there will be a few showers, perhaps late Thursday, even after sunset into Friday. Friday is your best bet to see some showers. That'll be followed by a cooler St. Patrick's Day weekend. We're still looking at 40s both days, Saturday and Sunday. Today, also the 40s. News 8 Storm Team forecast here calls for a breezy start to the day. Sunny though, 38 in the morning, 46 this afternoon, and then this evening winds diminish. Still sunny, looking good all the way through tonight. So high pressure moves overhead tonight that will help to ease the wind. It's going to be a cold one though, 24 to 28 degrees overnight. Tomorrow we're looking for 48 to 52 for our temperature range. Starting the day with sunshine, second half of the day will feature more cloud cover, but we do stay dry tomorrow. Here's a live look in Hershey, 36 degrees with a west northwesterly wind at 15 makes it feel like it's 27 degrees. So we still have to keep the uh, wind chill chart handy here this morning. Currently in Lebanon, 34 degrees, 36 in Carlisle, 32 for York and 35 in Chambersburg. Sustained winds, they're up to 15 miles per hour in some spots. And I do expect 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds, as you see here on the predictor, through the afternoon, through early evening. But after that, winds really drop off quickly. And tomorrow, winds should be light. Here's a live look at our satellite and radar combined. Closest clouds, closest precipitation is in far northern Pennsylvania. And that's falling in the form of some snow up there for us. Not a single flake today. In fact, you'll be hard pressed to find some clouds in the sky with high pressure building in from the west. So here's the forecast today. Wall to wall sunshine. Winds diminish tonight. Tomorrow we start with some brief sun, but look at all of these high clouds that come in during the second half of the day. So I do think we will cloud over tomorrow that high overcast, but it will stay dry and it will be mild near 50 degrees. Thursday, if we get some breaks of sun like the predictor showing here and showers hold off, we could very well get close to 60 degrees. So we might have to fine tune that forecast depending on cloud cover on Thursday. We'll keep you posted. Friday, we should make 60 with a chance for some showers in the morning or afternoon. Cold front comes through and knocks us back down to the 40s for the upcoming St. Patrick's Day weekend. So I do think Saturday will be breezy behind that front. Sunday still a little brisk, but mostly sunny for St. Patrick's Day and a high of 44. Looking good there for the weekend as far as weather, dry weather is concerned. Yes, don't mm -hmm. have to worry about rain or right, anything Right, for else. the parades, of course. Good. All right. All right. Christine, thank you.